one three hundred triple two seven seven four is the number. Now we have a, another conversation here on Drive on a regular basis. It's called Dear Ali. You can tell me about something that uh, bothers you in your local area, something you want to talk about, and uh, something that you hope that we might be able to get some answers for you on. And uh, Charles Street has done just that. He's the president of No Waste Incinerators in Lara and Greater Geelong Incorporated. Yes, now that you have heard the name of the organisation that he's president for, I reckon you know why he's here. Charles Street, hello. <laughs> hello, uh, <clears throat> hello, Ali. Uh, thank you very much for having me on your program. So tell me, what's the incinerator? Where will it be? What, what's it going to do? Okay, it's in McManus Road, Lara. It was proposed to be there. And... Um, uh, it's intended to incinerate 400,000 tonnes of uh, waste every year. Uh, and we're talking about red top bin waste and combustible commercial and industrial waste. And why? what, what is your main concern about having it there? All right, there's, there's three main worries that we have. First of all, uh, about health and environment and the second about the amenity of the area, and the third about safety. This waste, it's meant to produce, as I understand it, it's, I mean, what are they going to do with it? They're going to burn it? Yes. Yes, and, and, using gas. And, gas. Right, OK. Yes. And the, the EPA has granted a licence yes, to this project? Yes, the EPA granted a licence, and we found that um, completely unfathomable. We have no idea why they did that. What, what research have you done that makes you worried about the emissions? Yes. Uh, well, <clears throat> I've got uh, some expert advice here in terms of the health effects. So I'll just read a short sentence, if I may. Yeah. So um, Dr Peter Tate, who is uh, a public health expert from the Australian National University, he's written, a range of adverse health effects were identified with waste incineration, including significant associations with neoplasia or cancers, congenital abnormalities, which are birth defects, infant deaths and miscarriage. And the main way in which people be um, uh, contaminated uh, with these emissions is through eating contaminated food. So you, you I imagine you've gone to the, to, the, uh, to the effort of getting expert advice. Have you presented yeah. that to the authorities and to the EPA? Oh, yes. Because there are more approvals that are required, aren't there? Sorry, there, there are more, more approvals? Oh, yes. yes, you're correct. Um, so the EPA issued the uh, development licence only. They haven't issued an operating licence, only development licence. But it, <clears throat> the development licence comes with 13 pages of conditions. So <laughs> that gives you some indication of uh, uh, the, the work that needs to be done to get it up to a reasonable standard. So what are you hoping to happen from here? Well, we want the licence revoked, quite simply. Are you taking it to VCAT? Yes. Um, and also, it needs a planning permit, and we're asking for the planning permit to be refused, but it has gone to VCAT, and the um, initial appellant at VCAT is a company called Busy Nella Developments, and we've joined on with Busy Nella, and then we're joining as a party in, in our own right, the, the group that you mentioned. And when's the hearing, do you know? Sorry? When is the hearing? Oh. Uh, they've already started. Uh, there's been a directions hearing, but uh, there's a, going to be a series of hearings essentially from now uh, scheduled into August. Yeah. Well, it looks like it's going to be a while before there's a decision, but we might uh, follow up on this. I know that some of the ABC's local reporters down here have also been following the case of this uh, of this incinerator and, uh, and the approval process as well. Charles, thank you for coming and telling us about it. We'll, okay. we'll, we will follow up. All right. Can I, can I make a couple of requests? Quick one? Oh, uh, very, very quickly. Quick, quick, quick. We've got yes. to go to the news headlines. Right. Please in, enjoy the... Uh, please interview the directors. Please interview the <laughs> ABC. We'd like Four Corners to do a big expose, followed by a Royal Commission. Thank you very much. Well, <laughs> good on you, Charles. <laughs> there you go, Charles Street. Because Dear Ali's obviously not enough for Charles. We have to go the whole hog. Good on you, Charles Thank Street. You. He's the president of the No Waste Incinerators in Lara and Greater Geelong Incorporated. They're a group of residents and they are fighting that approval that's been granted by...
by the EPA. As you heard him say, it is in VCAT at the moment. Just regarding that conversation we were having there uh, with the president of No Waste Incinerators in Lara and Greater Geelong, a couple of your texts on that. Uh, this one, such incinerators are in the middle of Vienna. No health issues over many years, says Ina. Uh, Peter in Middles Creek says, have there been any issues in the waste burning in Sweden where they currently carry out this practice? And uh, this one, tried telling my Swiss friend about landfills. He was staggered that we don't incinerate. They've been doing it forever uh, with no harm uh, due to technology, says that texter. I wonder what you think. one three hundred triple two seven seven four.